La Linea camp in Grand Sainte, northern France, is home to hundreds of migrants from places like Iraq, Iran, Syria and Afghanistan. It was opened a year ago to replace a previous camp, where migrants lived in squalid conditions in a waterlogged field. Some still live in such conditions. After the closure of a similar camp to Le Linier in Calais, 30 miles to the west, migrants, mostly from sub-Saharan Africa, have again been forced to create temporary homes amidst the mud and stray cats of another field. Life is slightly less stark for the migrants of La Linière, even if it is hard to escape the feeling that the camp best resembles a concentration camp, with each of the more than 300 wooden cabins numbered and the gate into the compound locked. The migrants also wear wristbands, an administrative aid to overwhelmed French authorities struggling to deal with a relentless stream of refugees and economic migrants intent on creating new lives for themselves in the UK. The answer to the question of why they are not happy to accept offers of refuge in other European nations will depend upon the individual asked. Many speak English, or have family in the UK, while for others perhaps it is the perception of the UK's generous benefit system that most attracts. Though if this is the case, one must at least admire their perseverance. Living in La Linière is not easy. Ethnic and religious tensions abound, as Iraqis and Iranians, Muslims, atheists and Christians clash. There are regular reports of gunshots within the camp, which is said to be mafia controlled, with migrants charged thousands of pounds for allegedly guaranteed safe passage to England. The journey is fraught with dangers. One Iranian Christian woman was recently raped as she attempted to cross, leaving her husband behind in France. He was meant to follow on another occasion. For the handful of Christians in the camp, many of them converts to Christianity who come from Iran, help is offered by local authorities and churches, such as the DK Live Evangelical Church. Layla, a volunteer, regularly visits the camp, bringing supplies of food and clothing, and transporting those who are interested to church services on Sundays and a Bible study on Wednesdays. Some of the migrants have become Christians in the camp and have been baptised at the church, though they say they are fearful of letting their Muslim neighbours know. For others, a change of scenery and some free food offers welcome enough reason to go to church. La Linière is no paradise, but the local church is doing its best to help the migrants to feel like more than just a number, or a wristband, to feel human.